This one here in the middleweight division of the World Series of Fighting. Matt Baker checks in at 30 years of age, 6'1". There you see his weight and reach. The advantage and the reach going the way of Ali Makdad, 32, 6'1", and 184.4 pounds. So we're set to go. We set it inside the cage. Jazz Sekiro has the formal introductions. Here we go. Our next fight is brought to you by the Green Beret Foundation. We are scheduled for three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Middleweight Division. And now, introducing on my left, fighting out of the blue corner. His record, six victories, three defeats, four wins coming by way of submission. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 184 and a half pounds. He fights out of Windsor, Ontario, tonight making his World Series of Fighting debut. Introducing Ali, the monster. Mukdad! And now, on my right, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner of the Decagon. His record, 12 victories, 7 defeats. Four wins coming by way of knockout, six by submission. He stands six feet, one inch tall. He weighed in at 186 pounds, fighting out of Vancouver, British Columbia, by way of Camp Loops, British Columbia, presenting Matt, the Riot Maker! Baker! Yeah. Your referee is Kyle Cardinal. The Riot Maker Baker. We were talking about it last time, remember? The Great nicknames. nickname. Yeah. yeah, you gotta love the good nicknames. The Riot Maker taking on the monster here in Edmonton <laughs> as the lovely Michelle Jean-Pierre gets things started in round number one. So with Kyle Cardinal in charge of the action here, we get things going early on, and it's Mokdad coming forward and yeah. immediately hold the phone here. Baker, it almost looked like there was a collision in there, and Mokdad goes to the ground. He is stunned the fact that Kyle Cardinal has stopped this fight. Boss, I think we got a new record and the quickest ending to a fight at the World Series of Fighting. Yes, that has to be. Then, whoa, 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 three seconds, four seconds. This is going to be worth not one, not two, maybe five looks to see exactly what happened. Hopefully, another riot breaks out now. The riot maker, Baker. Ali Makdad looks absolutely stunned on what happened here. Watch him on the right coming forward. Oh, he fell. Oh. I think it was a hot butt. Just like a slip into him, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just kind of grazed him as Matt Baker came to the side. Well, it's at the wrong moment. That's the old ways, you know? You can't get knocked out with every punch, you know? And it was from the side, and it's a moment that you do not expect yeah. it, and then you go. You know, it was good for Baker, actually, that they stopped the fight right there because he, wanted to kick he him took in. a shot at a grounded opponent. That yep. would have been a point lost. So Ali Makdad, the monster, is absolutely stunned on what happened. Boss said, put you on the spot. I know it's all about keeping the fighters safe, but was that the correct call at the time by Kyle Cardin? You know what? And that's what I've been saying for many, many years. Instant replay. They should restart the fight right now. That's why I want instant replay. Instant replay can be there. Well, you guys saw it already. That's how fast we can have instant replay. It looked momentarily like Mock Dad did get knocked out because his legs kind of went limp and he fell forward, but I can't tell, you can't tell. We weren't there, we weren't inside the kid's head. Yep. But he drops to the ground and Matt Baker absolutely pounced on him. But you're wondering, did the fight get stopped too soon? Yeah, for, and for the wrong reason. That's, you know, what I'm always worried about. A, a, a referee is a referee is human. Everybody makes mistakes, you know? You, you think it's a punch, there's a lot of punch thro been thrown. And uh, that's it. Well, Cardinal not giving an explanation to Ali Makdad as he is looking for some kind of reasoning behind that stop. Obviously, fighter safety is the utmost importance here. And he did go down, and it looked as if he got knocked out momentarily by that grazed, unintentional headbutt from Matt Baker. That, that's tricky. This is tricky. It's a shame, you know. Okay, here we go again. Can you really classify this though as a headbutt? Yeah, look, his head bonk moves to the side. Yeah, didn't even connect. He's, he's that down punch right connects. There. Yep. 
And the referee did a good job yeah. because the ref, protecting you know, the fighter, protecting the fighter. But that knee also after, yeah, it it, it is the head. See you right know, there, he, he doesn't even the two punches. Doesn't even break his fall. Once he comes so Cardinal up, Cardinal takes him up. He stands up. Ooh, and that's. Yeah, you know what? Uh, Baker still is not really in. The I don't game. think Baker thought he, he was out. I, yeah, calm. It was not calculated because the referee was pushing him away and he was kicking him with an illegal kick also on top of it. So, you know, restart would have been great right now, but since it was a down, you know, it's a hard call. Well, the discussion continues. No official word has been given. The fight was stopped, but our head referee, Kyle Cardinal, right now is talking to officials cage side, explaining to some of the other folks around here what exactly happened, what he saw, and talking to a few of the judges as well. Now yep. he's calling the fighters to the middle of the cage. Right yep, there's no Matt. contest. I apologize, it's gotta go that way, okay? Yep. So here we go, we'll get the official word now as Jazz Securo is inside the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, Due to an unintentional headbutt, referee Kyle Cardinal has declared this a no contest. So the no contest plays out and probably the right decision after everything was said and done, an unintentional headbutt as Matt Baker and Ali Makdad come together in the early moments of this fight resulting in Mokdad going to the ground. Baker continued to fight momentarily until head referee Kyle Cardinal stepped in and separated them. Probably the smart move, protecting the down fighter, Mokdad. We'll look at it one more time from multiple angles, and here it is at the very start in round one. And it was almost a glancing headshot. There you see Baker continues to fight. There it is right there. You see Mokdad's arms literally go limp because he falls forward and doesn't break his fall. And I think that's what probably gave Kyle Cardinal the belief that Mokdad had been knocked out by a shot. But upon closer examination, boss, it was clearly an unintentional. Two heads coming together. Mokdad gets the worst of it, but really no benefit to Matt Baker because he comes away with a no contest. Yeah. Get ready. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. 